Hi, I'm Andy Acker, Director of Education for Schluter Systems. And I'm Brian Bouchard, the Regional Manager for the Northeast. So Brian, we're going to discuss profiles a little bit here. Uh, the benefits of using them, a couple of techniques for installation. Right. We're going to look at three kinds today, Andy. There's edge and finishing profiles, of which you have a couple of them in your hand right there. Okay, I have a square one and more of a rounded one. and They do come with inside and outside corners that you would use to finish those off, make a real professional look. Right. And also, we've got a couple of the movement joint profiles. Okay, you can see these here. Stainless steel bodies. Uh, this one does have a soft joint here. Uh, for movement and this uh, accommodates movement in another fashion. Uh, those could uh, be in uh, real heavy duty applications. And also we have cove shape profiles. Okay, this one's interesting. It has the anchoring leg on the back side instead of out front like you see on here. And this one is uh, actually anodized aluminum but it looks very similar to the stainless steel. I'm going to set some tiles on here, Andy, so we can show how one of our cove shape profiles can sit on top of a finished floor. Okay, so you know when you get to a job site a lot of time the floors and walls are not even and straight and that could be a little bit of an issue uh, when you go to set tile in general and certainly when you're using uh, using profiles here. So you could say that installing profiles is sort of a skill inside of the skill if you will uh, as far as the tile setting skill uh, because of the floors unevenness and so forth. So we're just going to show you a couple of little techniques here that you could you could use. So uh, again we're just keying in the thin set into the detrun coupling membrane uh, to make certain that, that the thin set has a mechanical grab and then we'll use the notch trowel that's proper for the size tile to uh, gauge how much thin set we're going to use to actually install the tile. So when things aren't really straight and even, uh, it could be a little bit of a challenge here. So we want to uh, make certain that uh, uh, we spend a little time with the tile, uh, working it into the bond coat, and uh, making certain we get it as good as we can get it before installing profiles. It's always a good idea to back butter any large format tile to ensure you're going to get proper coverage and if this was a wet area where we would need a very high amount of coverage, 95% or better, uh, we should uh, aim for 100% but uh, we understand realistically uh, it might not be uh, easy to achieve so 95% would be good. And now we're going to uh, to show what could happen if the tile wasn't quite even, if, you, if there was some unevenness to the floor, or um, bond coat was not uniform, uh, you can see that we could actually have uh, a bit of a problem here where we have a gap between uh, the profile and the tile like that. Right, and this is where we were talking about it takes a little bit of skill. And in this case, when we're doing the bond coat for the floor tile, we want to make sure we get them all in plane so that the profiles can lay nice and flat on the finished floor. Yeah, if you do end up with this, now this particular profile we're using here, this cove, you can see it's top set. So whether you have an existing floor, you're doing tile and you're going to set this on top, or maybe you have some other kind of material on the floor other than tile, you could utilize this cove. Uh, and of course you want to spend some time getting that in, or else you may need to put a ceiling underneath there. Right. Okay. Last thing we want to show Andy is how we're applying a wall tile, maybe we're doing a base or a wainscot. I'm going to put it dry first so you can see without thin set it's clear that we don't we're not meeting the face of the cove. Okay so the tile face and the cove are not flush where it hits the radius. And that's fine because we know we ordered this size to accommodate the bond coat we're going to use behind the tile so we should come out flush okay. and not past the profile either. Right so you don't want to be out too far and you don't want to be out or in too far, so right. you want that to come out flush.
So right there, I'm a little bit heavy, so it's a little bit past the cove. Okay. And now it's perfectly flush. I just pressed in a little bit. Nice and flush. Good job. Okay, so be sure also to remove any grout or thin set off of the profile as soon as possible. You don't want to leave that on there to dwell. How about uh, since we were talking about a uh, tile base or a wainscot or perhaps a, a vertical outside corner, finishing that off, making it real professional. You, Brian, you have, uh, let me hand you the little button there for the uh, profile that goes. Uh, this is a nice way to finish these off. Just going to kind of place that in there to give you an idea of what that looks like. Again, a uh, little working it into the profile to make certain it's flush. It's going to give you a really nice professional uh, finished look altogether. Okay, so there we are. We looked at some uh, profiles, a couple of techniques for installation and so forth, showed you the benefits of actually using profiles. Right, so for more information on these profiles and others, and some installation videos, please visit our website, schluter.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.